heirs of eternal life. Those receiving the sacrament of baptism through it come into the fellowship of Christ's holy church. This is the beginning of one's entrance in the church, into the church. Now, surely you dedicated this child as soon as you knew, right? It wasn't like, hey, we're going to wait to talk to God about this. No, of course, as soon as you knew. But there's something special about saying, uh, putting a sign and seal on it, as we will this morning. Christ our Lord has expressly given to little children a place among the people of God. And so we remember the words of Jesus, having said, Allow the little children to come to me. Do not forbid them. Anything. Because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people like these little children. Jamie and Hannah are today presenting this child for Christian baptism. Since baptism is a sacrament, this is a sacred time in the life of these parents, this child, and this community of faith. We believe that Christ gave this holy sacrament as a sign and seal of the new covenant. Christian baptism signifies for this young child God's gracious acceptance on the basis of what we call convenient grace. And this grace that's at work ahead of time, before the baby even knows it. It's an acknowledgement of this grace at work in the life of this child and in the care of his parents and extended family and under the nurture of the community of faith, the church. This morning, this points forward to his own personal response at some point to the grace that comes to him when he exercises conscious saving faith in Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to ask the question, so we've already talked about this. this baptism is a public declaration of something. And so let me ask these questions in front of everyone. Jamie and Hannah, do you desire for your child to be baptized? If so, so maybe we do. Yeah, yeah. Hope so. Kind of hard. <laughs> in presenting this child for baptism, you're here by witnessing to your own personal Christian faith. We've talked about that too. Jamie and Hannah, do you announce again your desire to have faith in Christ? show that you want to study him, to know him, to love him, to serve him as your disciple, and that you want your children to do the same, if so say you do. To this end, it is your duty to teach him, as soon as he is able to learn the nature of his holy sacrament, to watch over him, his education, that he may not be led astray, to direct his feet to the sanctuary, to restrain him from evil associates and habits, and as much as in you lies, to bring him up in admonition and nurture of our Lord Jesus. Jamie and Anna, will you nurture this child in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example, he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his, his faith openly, and to lead a Christian life, if so answer, with God's help, we will. Nurturing a child is not only the 